Hello, Cancer, Summon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. So, Cancer, let's talk, okay? Um, as I was shuffling the deck, getting ready for your reading, I saw the Six of Swords, and I saw the Seven of Swords. And that in itself creates an Ace of Swords at play. Could be dealing with an Air sign strongly. So, a Gemini, Libra, possibly even an Aquarius. Doesn't necessarily have to be the case, but... I feel like somebody's having a very difficult time trusting the process and trusting the journey for whatever reason. And there could very well be, you know, a whole person attached to this person that's causing all of this to come up to the surface for this person. But honestly, that's the only thing that I was picking up on. Keep in mind that could be your overall energy or somebody else's overall energy. We have past life relationship. You have known each other before that came out for you. So this could definitely insinuate somebody who has been a part of your life for quite some time. Uh, this could just be somebody that you share a very strong and intense soul tie connection with but we're going to focus on you first then we'll jump over to your person just keep in mind the roles can be reversed and time is fluid so this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date that is cancer currently view this relationship interesting okay so we have the devil we also have the tower and then we also have the hangman i've never seen these combos come out together could be dealing with a capricorn possibly a pisces maybe even a scorpio doesn't necessarily have to be the case how does this person currently view this relationship let's see we have the six of pentacles we have the knight of pentacles and then we also have the temperance card the bottom of the deck we have the ten of swords Hmm. I like whoever this person is to the right of me, but when it comes down to how you're currently viewing this relationship, um, a lot of you are looking at this relationship as something that, you know, is extremely unhealthy and toxic for you. Now, just because you're looking at this relationship as something that's extremely unhealthy slash toxic for you doesn't necessarily mean that you're dealing with a bad person, because I don't feel like you are actually dealing with a bad person by any means. Um, you know, this could just be one of those situations where this relationship, it brings a lot of stuff out of you that you don't necessarily like or even want to deal with because I'm kind of getting that for the vast majority of you. A lot of you just might be fearful of this connection. A lot of you might be so attached to like the worst potential outcome to come out of the situation that's causing you to feel like, you know what, maybe this is just not for me. One thing that I will say though, is that I don't feel like you're dealing with a bad person. I don't. Um, I just kind of feel like for the vast majority of you, this relationship, it just brings out, you know, certain things out of you that you don't necessarily like. Okay. Um, and with all of that being said, you know, it is kind of causing a lot of you to essentially think that maybe this relationship is just not for you. Okay. Now, with all of that being said, Cancer, I do see you letting this relationship between you and this person fall apart. I don't see you fighting for it. I don't see you trying to work things out. I don't see you trying to repair things by any means. You're just kind of looking at this entire situation like, you know what? This relationship is not healthy for me. I want out. That's kind of how you're looking at this entire situation. I don't feel like you're dealing with a bad person. I really, really don't. Um, especially because they have temperance and the knight of pentacles and the six of pentacles on their side. You know... Six of Pentacles is somebody who's very kind, somebody who's very generous, um, somebody who wants to be there for you. Um, Knight of Pentacles is somebody who's dependable, somebody who's reliable. And when temperance comes out attached to a person, it just goes to show that you're dealing with somebody who actually does have your best interests at heart, whether you believe that or not. You know, a lot of you might be feeling this way because a lot of you are convinced that, you know, you're dealing with the devil, right? When in actuality, you're not, right? So I feel like there's like a variety of, you know, different things going on in your end, Cancer. I feel like, you know, for some, you're looking at this relationship like it's extremely unhealthy and this is something that you need to kind of let go of because of the way that it affects you, because of the things it brings out within you. Um, for some of you, it could just be as simple as, you know, you being extremely convinced that, you know, you're dealing with the bad guy here when in all actuality you're not. You know what I mean? You know, I feel like the both of you are kind of going through it. I feel like you're going through it way more than they are. That's one thing that I will say, but I feel like this person just wants you to kind of see that you don't really have anything to worry about when it comes down to them. Like they're here for you. They love you. They care about you. Um, and, and they don't want things to essentially come to an end. So I see them for the most part trying to fix and repair things here with you. I feel like you're the one that's having a very difficult time trusting the process here, Cancer. How does Cancer feel? Yeah. 
We have the Two of Cups, we have the Six of Swords, and then we also have the uh, Three of Cups. Let's look at this person. What actions will this person take towards Cancer or moving forward? We have the page. What the hell was I saying? Hold on, let me do it again. Because I was like, what actions? Let me see how this person feels. Sorry, I messed that up. How does this person currently feel? Sorry. Sorry. Kind of kind of lost track there. We have the um, Eight of Cups. We have the Queen of Swords. And then we also have the um, High Priestess. I'm not shocked. You know, I just kind of feel like a lot of you are extremely convinced that you're dealing with somebody who doesn't necessarily have your best interests at heart, which is quite the opposite, if I'm being completely honest. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who actually cares about you. You're dealing with somebody who has your back. You know, you're dealing with somebody who wants nothing but the best for you. And I feel like you're having a very difficult time seeing that because you're really clouded by, you know... A bunch of negativity right now. I mean, you have the devil and the tower attached to you. You know, I feel like you have a very um, negative mindset when it comes on to your relationship with this person. You know, I just kind of feel like a lot of you just expect the worst from this person. A lot of you just look at this person like, no, they don't really have my best interests at heart. But in all actuality, I feel like they actually do. And I feel like they've proven that through their actions alone. If you were to just kind of take the time out to really acknowledge that, I feel like it will change your perception um, of this person. But you're perceiving this person, right? Because you're coming up as a hangman. You're perceiving this person like, um, like they're the bad guy. Like they don't have your best interests at heart. When in all actuality, it's quite the opposite, Cancer. I just feel like this negativity that's really clouding you right now is, is kind of clouding your judgment at the same exact time. But... With the Eight of Cups, uh, to the Queen of Swords, to the High Priestess, you know, this person ge genuinely does feel like they have a very difficult time getting through to you because you're just so convinced. You're just so convinced that you're dealing with a bad guy or a bad chick. You're so convinced that this person doesn't have your best interests at heart. It's almost in a sense where nobody can tell you anything, so to speak. Uh, and I feel like they kind of have a very difficult time getting through to you. With the Two of Cups to the Six of Swords to the Three of Cups, I feel like this is more of their overall energy, to be honest. You know, I feel like they're trying. Like, I feel like they're trying to show you that they care. I feel like they're trying to show you that they do have your best interests at heart. But... Because you're so convinced that that's not the case, it's almost in a sense where it doesn't really matter what this person says or what this person does to prove like their love and their loyalty to you. It doesn't really matter because you already attach yourself to this narrative in your mind about them that they're no good. They don't have your best interests at heart. They don't really care about you. And, you know, they're just here to, you know break your heart, betray you, deceive you, and let you down. When in all actuality, I don't, I don't feel like that's the case, Cancer. What actions will Cancer take towards this person? They're moving forward. Mm. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Nine of Pentacles. And then we have the World. Okay. How does... I mean, I'm sorry. What actions will this person take towards Cancer moving forward? Listen... Regardless if you if you want to accept your situation for what it is or not, this is what's real cancer. You know, this narrative that you've created in your mind about this person, as much as you're extremely convinced that that's the case, it's just not, you know? Your reality contradicts what you think and what you've created in your mind about this person. That's as simple as it gets. This person in particular... Not only do they love you, not only do they care about you, they want the best for you, okay? Not only that, but this is somebody who actually wants to build towards a Ten of Cups energy with you. That's what this person wants. That's what their heart desires to obtain with you and only you, okay? But I feel like you're having such a difficult time accepting that and believing that, to be completely honest. With the world, to the Nine of Swords, to the Nine of Pentacles... Cancer, I, I kind of feel like your life and your world is drastically changing and it's drastically changing for the better. It is. You're just having a very difficult time seeing that and believing that, you know, like you're very, very consumed by the, but what if they do this and what if they do that and this, and, and, and this fear on top of that, that you are harnessing right now. 
your world is drastically changing but it's drastically changing for the better i just feel like you have a very difficult time seeing that and acknowledging that and accepting that to be completely honest cancer i do i really really do hmm. tell me more about this nine of swords for cancer We have the Page of Swords, we got the Knight of Wands, and then we also have the uh, Ace of Cups. Ooh, interesting. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups, we have the Strength card with the Wheel of Fortune to the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like this is like the Divine's way of trying to encourage you to be open and receptive to what's trying to enter your life. And I feel like it's this person, Cancer, that you need to kind of learn to be a little bit more open and receptive to, because I feel like once you do, you're going to be able to essentially see exactly what it is that you have right in front of you. And you're not going to look back at this with any sort of regret because it's a it's it's an emotionally fulfilling experience uh, that you could go through with this person in particular. Not only that, but we're looking at a situation that has a great deal of potential on top of that. I just kind of feel like I just kind of feel like when it comes down to this person that you're connecting with, you think the worst of them. You literally think the worst of them and how badly this entire situation could possibly affect you one day. And I feel like that in itself kind of prevents you from fully embracing a good thing here. Because what you got is a good thing. What you got is what we all fucking want, basically. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, your world is changing. Your world is changing and it's changing for the better a lot of you just don't feel like it is, right? And the reason why you don't feel like it is has a lot to do with this narrative, right? That you've created in your mind about this person. Like, no, like they're just out to get me. They don't really have my best interests at heart. I just know that one day they're gonna let me down. I just know one day they're gonna betray me and deceive me. I just know it, I just know it, I just know it, but you're wrong. Like, this is one of those situations where I can't sit here and agree with you because I can see how your situation with this person can drastically change your life for the better. So I'm not going to enable you and say, yeah, Cancer, you know, you're, you're definitely right about this person because you're not. You know what I mean? This new chapter is going to take you places you never thought or even imagined you would go, right? But in a positive way. In a positive way. If you continue to give in to your own doubts, your own reservations, and your own theory that you've created in your mind about this person, you will be missing out. Like, honestly, think about it. Like, really think about it. Because, listen, we've all been out there in the dating scene. We all kind of know what's out there, right? We all know that it's very difficult to find somebody who is genuine, somebody who's sincere, somebody who has your back, somebody who actually loves you and cares about you. You know damn well that it's very difficult to find that out there. And the fact that you have that, I mean, consider yourself lucky, man, because not all of us are able to encounter that. You know what I mean? And the fact that you actually have that in your life, it's a blessing is what it is it's a blessing you're just having a very difficult time seeing that because right now there's so much fear and what if this happens and what if that happens and on top of that you know you're really convinced that they're the bad guy here you're really convinced that they're no good like you're so convinced that even them even them the person that you're connecting with has a very difficult time getting through to you so imagine me sitting here talking to you you know what i mean like i'm pretty sure you still don't even believe it you know what i mean but at the end of the day this entire situation it requires you to take a chance it requires you to take a chance and i feel like a big part of you doesn't want to because again going back to what i already said you're so convinced that this person's the bad guy it's not even funny to the point where nobody can really tell you anything because you know that they're just the bad guy they don't have your best interest at heart and that's that you know but i gotta be honest cancer this is one of those situations where i'm gonna have to say you're wrong i'm gonna have to say you're wrong about this person i feel like if you were to just embrace the fact that you have a good thing embrace the fact that you're actually lucky what you got is what 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 we all kind of want to be completely honest and you actually have that you actually have that in your life it's time that you embrace it it's time that you learn to enjoy what it is that you have because you have something that we all fucking want right and not all of us are able to 
meet someone like the person that you have. You know what I mean? So consider yourself lucky and blessed and fortunate, man. All right, let's see what we got here for cancer. So we have it safe for you to love, stay optimistic about your love life, and then we have deception, which I'm not shot. You know, the fact that you're so convinced that this person's gonna turn around, betray you, and deceive you, it, it's honestly keeping you from a really good thing. At the bottom of the deck, we have engagement, and then we have soulmate that follows and healing, which is something that I really do like. There's a lot of healing that needs to take place on your behalf. You could be responding and reacting this way because of past experiences that you've had with other people, but this is your mindset right now when it comes down to this person. They are no good. They are out to get me. They are not to be trusted. Like this is your mindset right now. And it's encouraging you to not think that way anymore because things between you and this person, it could definitely lead to a really good place. You just gotta be open and receptive and allow it to happen. That's it. That's all you have to do. Just sit back, relax, allow the situation to unfold and you'll be able to see it for yourself. But it does kind of require you to kind of get rid of this narrative that you've created in your mind about this person in order to fully see what you got in front of you, all right? So that's what I have for you, and you could do it, and you could do it. I know that you can. I know that you can. This is going to change your life in a positive way, not in a negative way, but in a positive way. But if you were to just kind of take a step back, watch and observe and embrace what this person is just trying to bring to your life, you'll be able to see in time that you were actually kind of wrong about this person all along. Just saying, all right? So that's what I have for you, Cancer. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated also too. For those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, it's linked in the description box down below. Good luck to the both of you. Don't worry. You're going to be fine. Just sit back, relax, and learn to embrace exactly what it is that you deserve, which is a good person, all right? Like them, all right? I'll see you guys in your next reading. Bye.